Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a Osiris Solane uh, commentary guide. Playing with Death Soul and probably gonna get multis, I guess, just so I can fight in the wave. And kinda need beats. Good beats. Now what I should have done is stack my passive in base, but we kinda paused twice, so I didn't get right to doing that, but I'll explain his abilities uh, fast for people who don't play Osiris too much. His one is called Sickle Strike. It's a line ability. You throw a sickle, it does damage, and it slows. And on a very short cooldown, his two is Spirit Flail. Um, the big AoE circle, as you see, uh, as you can see here. In a second. There it is. It does a lot of damage. It's main, main clearing ability. And it stacks with his one. Uh, so if you slow them with your one, your sickle, you use your two, and it also slows them as well. And it speeds you up. Uh, his three is called Tether. Um, and basically, uh, it attaches like a little tether to people and it, um, reduces their damage and it stuns them after four seconds. And his ult's called Lord of the Afterlife. Basically, it's a leap and it roots them and stops their healing. Oh, it's missing my side. So you got his one and his two. They hit that. There it is. Hit him. So now I'm gonna group up the wave here. Auto the whole wave here. Now he's not hitting his my archers, so I should be able to clear here. And I should be able to hit three in a second and punish him fully. No, unlucky. I love my one here. I'm just gonna try this. Oh, that's a good hit right there. I'm not gonna get totem, I'm just gonna try and get lane pressure here. I'm gonna try and weave in a scythe here. He's not gonna he's not gonna let me do that. And it's passive. Every time you use an ability, uh you lose like a a, a body part, and every every time you lose a body part, you can see down here one out of eight. Um, you gain mitigation and at max sex you get fatalis basically haste effects in your passive and you um, um, You can move through walls. So it's really cool Really cool passive uh, Yes, Ben Hopefully we'll, we'll try You don't ward there the jungles in mid so in theory I didn't need to ward until like after this wave so Yeah, it's really going for poke which is kind of weird Anyway Gonna beat that stun. I don't want to take too much poke there. It was probably an okay beads. I could kill him in a second here. Okay. There we go. Once he tigered and I uh, landed my sickle, I knew, or my, what it was called, a yeah, sickle, I knew he's a free kill. When I saw him positioning like that, uh, Pretty much whenever we come in position like that, they're always looking for a, uh, a scythe or sorry, um, tiger. So it's just a free uh, free prediction for me. Uh, now you can go either war tabai or ninja tabai. People go both. I like going war tabai. I've always liked going war tabai. Oh, I'm not gonna get this book speed. I don't think. I'm about ult for it. Uh, but I like war tabai a lot just for the uh, huge poke damage. Uh, also, I'm not gonna level my one here. I'm level up next to two. But one strat people do is they don't get their three, they get their one and their two. Like they just they they don't level like Jake, awesome Jake, he doesn't get his three for a while and he's levels a one and a two. Which can be a decent strat. But it's just safer just to get the uh I'm almost ult him here. He has no dash here. I'm just trying to get Pokemon as much poke as I can. Hope I get a stun here. Big Lives can clean that up. He should be dead. Close. Oh, I'm dead as fuck. This guy's five. Dang, if I hit that first sickle, I'd probably kill him. We'd probably kill him. I didn't die, yeah. Dang, that's unfortunate. Okay, I prefer Glavis just didn't come left. Fine though. Might lose this wave. See. The solo, just uh, just play like a, a bluestone god by bluestone and clear the waves and and try to rotate him like him or mid game and you'll be fine. Okay, right, first item, I'm gonna go glad shield. Normally I go shifters on Osiris or like shifters or like miscoming is okay too, but you just go breastplate as well. But I'm gonna go glad shield this game. Yeah, pretty much play play tier of Wukong, uh, death and uh. Focus on focus on farming and wave clearing, and then just rotate mid um, faster than your opponent. 
Or just make sure you're at gold free fights at the same time or or faster. And you will have done your job. I'm gonna get blue before wave here because uh, I don't wanna miss out on this blue XP, it's very important. Did I get first blood? Oh, I'm pretty sure I didn't get first blood, unfortunately. I don't remember if I did or not. Yeah, that's pretty much Wukong Passive that saved him. He's gonna like to poke me here. There it is. There's a cudgel. Sickle there. Good three here. He's gonna ox. You know, he's gonna fuck out. Tigering, okay. I tricked it one. I didn't trick it. Lucky. Gotta be careful. There's an Alcon here. I gotta back up. Does he have blink? Yeah, he does. But I have beads and ult, so I'll be fine. I'm not gonna die. So wanna have the back. That would suck. I'm gonna try and pretend I don't see he's there because I don't want them to think there's a ward there. That's throwing him, that's good. Is Wukong in like a bad spot here? Is a Merlin here? Why is our party in the solo lane, man? It's so lame. He's just looking shit on Blink on me, I think. I put him in combat here. Oh my god. Nice. We got two at least. That's worth. Shield. Nice. You have a little bit of kill your mirror. Two for three. Why, did, why is literally everybody here? It's insane. Paul is all. You might ult over. Dude, I actually hate games like this, dude. Like, just let me let me play solo lane, man. Was there a... Why is there a 5v4 fight? At six minutes in the solo lane, like... These games will happen a lot, um, especially in ranks where like people like fight a lot. Games, these games will happen. It's kind of inevitable. Okay, though. I don't think the Alquang two uh, three two would kill me. Jump around the corner. He's not. He's not going to tiger me. Cool. I got the small XP lead. I'm gonna refresh my wards as well. We're on the full screen really quick. Right there you go. Bye -bye. Get a ward up there. Oh, we can make it less obvious, but whatever. I'm actually ult this guy here just to get poke on him. Maybe get his ult here. If he doesn't ult, he dies. Got him. Knock one here. I tried to get his blink, but he didn't. Fine. I'll blink. This guy's always here, man. He's already just sitting here. It's so lame. Hey, this is solo lane for you. If you, uh, if you're looking to play solo lane, this is what you're in for. So have fun. Hope you enjoy it. So Steve, oh Zap, man, let's go Zap. I think he's messing that guy up. OP God. Yeah, well they nerfed Death Toll, so it's not that OP, but. Got a solo kill. Cyrus Soul is really good at selling people. I know Cyrus Soul, when you ult, you uh you get your full passive, so it really helps you be like super tanky in fights and uh run people down. Enemy missing left. An enemy has been slain. Missing left. But missing, they're probably gonna die though. I'm gonna push this wave in, go to the blue. Might be spawning soon. That since my blue spawning soon, might mean his blue spawning soon. I'm gonna commit actually. See if we can see if we can do anything here. Benny Kiss looking me vision. This guy shouldn't have ult here. Oh dang. The one thing you can do as Osiris is when you tether somebody uh, and they're running away from it, you can actually ult to follow them. And 
um, your tether will still be linked to them if, while you're in the air. So like that Wukong there, you're just oxing away. If, if I ulted sooner, um... Oh fuck, this guy's killing me. I have blinked? Oh shit. I was not paying attention. Oh fuck. The puzzle Gonies? Yeah, it's it's pretty good to build negation with Cyrus. Not bad. So for people watching for people watching on YouTube, I'm doing this live as well, so. Oh, I'm set too, whoops. I should not fight him here because he has a item advantage. Whenever someone has an item over you, it's generally not great to take a fight unless you know you can like win it. Like you're you use stomp the matchup. There might be a sentry here actually. Be careful middle. Be careful middle. Make sure I call that extensively. Extensively. Really no. There's no way anyone should die to that, right? I called that out a million times. Hopefully they don't die to it. Fucking like man fight in the fucking dual lane though. Oh you rock. Your eternal zap man. I'm gonna go wing blade here. I can get some magic D and actually I could go witch blade. It's a little cringe. Maybe not. They don't it doesn't get too much use out of it, just out of two people. I probably go wing blade just so I don't die to the Aquang. Don't get slowed because they have a lot of slows. Each of them has a slow in their kit, a pretty heavy slow in their kit. But I max one two first. I never max the one. I literally never max the one, so that's how I decide. I don't like maxing the one. Some people do it, I just don't like it. You cannot pay me to do it. This guy's an ox a second, probably. I got good pressure on him here. He just, he just ox. He just ox. I can jump on him, maybe. Aquang's in right, so this is a good time for me to put pressure on him or fight him or try and kill him here. And two him here. Oh, I missed, missed the two. The two bugged. Okay. I'm not gonna kill him. Yeah, this glad shield stacking up. And they hit on him, cool. I didn't see where Aquan was. So he might be coming here. This is not Ukon doesn't blue on him, so his blue should be up. Drop a two on him, just to poke him. Might be an Aquan coming here. Big Labus comes here to help me. Got that, there we go. Two there. Got him. He's burning out because he knows Bassett is here. Hong Kong's dead. Guys, three's down. Bassett should try and three him. Get his ult. Nice. We got his ult. He's still dead for a second. He's dead here. Here we go. Just knew his trick pattern. Knew where he was going. Got the speed. Now Kong's coming back. I'm gonna drop a ward uh, right, right there. Then catch him going to my lane. Unfortunately, I can't catch him going right or going to mid, but it's whatever. I'm gonna get blink as well, just so I can blink on uh, people. And I believe I'll be going, uh, I'm going to Urchin here. I'm kind of going Magic D, a little Magic D heavy, more more so than Fizz D, is because they have uh, a lot of magic damage. I got, like, I'm going Urchin, which is obviously both physical and magical, but... I'll just go Fizz D item here. Oh my god, what's up? What's up, Courtney? I missed you. How you been? How do you decide where the max one's here? Okay, right. He's better clear? Yeah, two's better clear. Do Miskumel on Cyrus? Yeah, Miskumel is not too bad on a Cyrus sometimes. For sure, not too bad. I've just been trying Glad Shield uh, as of as of late. Just trying it. I'm gonna just call it help so my teammates, so my teammates come here. I'm trying to see this guy over the wall here, poke him down a little bit. 
It's just two, three down. There's some burst is down. I'm probably not gonna go stop it. Yeah, I didn't couldn't get it. Wish my boys were here. He's gonna dash. I'm a two right here. Got it. I'm a Sultan. I'm here. I could believe missed. Still taking tower though. It's all nice. We got him. Might be dead. Oh, it's close. What the hell is the Merlin doing? What the fuck? That guy's dead. Should probably do this. After this wave. I'm going for jungle Follow me. Good game. The speed's coming up, but I think it's more important to do this. Yo, thank you so much, Beast Killer. Much love, man. Well, Wukong is playing up. Kind of greedily. Holy cow, Cyrus just kind of yelled. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy. An enemy has been slain. With her here, now since now since he's okay, unfortunately, but since he's the he's in, he has a knockup in his kit. What you want to do if you're like if you're like like engaging someone on someone like that, you want to like uh pad in the way that you want to go on your knockup. If anybody here has played Smash, um, there's something called I forgot what it's called. It's like directional input, I think it's called. Where like if you get knocked up, like let's say let's say if I'm walking this way and he knocks me up, I'm gonna go flying this way. Or if I'm standing still and he knocks me up, I'm gonna go straight up. So, something to keep in mind. If I'm like, if I'm like, if I'm like walking like this, and he knocks me up, I'm gonna go flying to the left. So when you're battling Wukong, you always want to try and and face or walk towards the way you think he's gonna ox, because then he gets like pretty much no distance. He he honestly doesn't get very far after that. So. It's a little quick tip for people who go versus Vamana and Wukong. Primarily versus those, uh, those gods. I'll surrender right there. That was a good game. Probably cut a little bit short, but you guys hope uh, some of you learned something. There's a lot of tricks with Osiris you can do, and I might make a more... Uh, like a, a better guide video, like an actual in-depth jungle practice video. Sometime in the future. But like about all the warriors, I'm not sure yet, but we guys enjoyed that game. The the landing phases, those are pretty good landing phase. But everybody kept banking, but anyway, thank you guys for watching.